All right, gang, welcome to Hanson's Speed Shop. It's time for another Muscle Bike Ride and Review. Today we're gonna to be doing this 76 Schwinn Stingray. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be taking another look at my 76 Schwinn Stingray, and this is a very special bike to me because this was not my first banana seat bike, but this was my first Schwinn Stingray, and I've had this bike since I was like um, 11, 11 years old, I think. So I've had it quite a while. Uh, me and my dad built this bike um, like in the early 2000s and uh, we built this bike originally for like 20 or 30 dollars and there's a lot of things on this bike that I would do differently if I were to build the bike now or just things I would change now but I'm not going to. The bike's going to stay exactly like how it is because it's kind of like a time capsule for me. I can get on this bike and ride it or look at it or whatever and I go right back to um, being in grade school and riding this bike. The only thing that's different on this bike than how it was when I was a kid um, was the back tire and I'll tell a story about that later on in the video. Um, but this is a double M so this would have been built in December of 1976 so this would have been one of the last bikes that was made in 1976 before they started doing the um, 77 model year so this is kind of the end of the line for that year of Schwinn Stingray um, this bike is in a really nice um, I think this might be called sky blue. It's like a candy blue color. I really like that shade of blue. Um, I believe by like 76, uh, just a standard um, baseline Stingray, um, you would have only had the option of this color blue or a red. So um, now this bike is not set up stock. It's kind of set up more of like how a kid would have customized their Schwinn Stingray back in the 70s and kind of made it more like a chopper. And that's how we set it up. And I'm gonna talk about uh, what we did on this bike and what's different than how it would have come stock. So the first thing that everybody notices on this bike is that front fork. Um, it's a Schwinn fork. It's off of like a same era, mid 70s. Um, Schwinn 26 inch boys bike now if you're looking to do something similar um, the boys Schwinn's have a shorter head tube girls Schwinn's have a longer head tube so the forks are specific for boys and Schwinn bikes now some of the 10 speed boys bikes like the Continental and stuff had a really um, long head tube and those forks obviously won't interchange with anything else but that bike but if you find like a 26 inch um boys bike and it's the same color as your bike like this one was um it'll bolt right up and you get it's the same style fork same shape it's just extended um and you kind of get that old school chopper look which is what i really wanted as a kid um and when we got this bike it was just a frame had no fork so that worked out really good um the other things that were done on this bike that are not really original um the wheels on the bike i believe are walled wheels so they're not original schwinn wheels but walled made a lot of like schwinn uh, copies basically the same thing but uh, made through walled um up front we've got um a vintage make of some sort um, brick tire which is what would have came on this bike from the factory in the front and then out back um, originally this bike just had a black like old school um, slick on it from back in the day and the last time I rolled this bike prior to doing these muscle bike ride reviews I was in high school I was like 15 years old I rolled this bike uptown to get a new issue of like old school rods or car culture deluxe magazine at the bookstore and on my way home I heard a big bang I was like literally 20 feet from home go figure and the back tire blew out so then that was kind of when this bike just got parked and then like after I had graduated high school I put this tire on the bike 
and then I never really rode it again I just kind of put the tire on the bike and then when we did the first muscle bike ride and review with this bike uh, like two years ago I finally rolled the bike again I haven't really touched it at all since that video so this will be the first time um, that we ride it again since then um, but this bike originally from the factory probably would have come with either a black wall slick or a knobby back tire um, this is the correct original five spoke style sprocket that would come on this bike from the factory um, this has extended cranks on it now the i get a lot of questions about these cranks these are also um same era 70s era like single speed or three speed um 26 inch schwinn um, cranks they're like maybe this much longer than a stock schwinn crank and they fit on here you won't you don't have any clearance issues um to the frame now if you're running a stock length fork you're gonna have a problem because when you try to turn the bike your pedals might scrape because they're the cranks are so long but if you're running an extended fork like this one has you're not going to have any problems because it kind of raised the front of the bike up and i've rolled this bike countless miles never had a problem with that um this bike has some um these are like the bow style crate pedals these are just like some cheapy um, aftermarket style pedals originally this bike would have had the waffle style pedals um but it would have had the reflectors like these do so they're kind of correct but again when we originally built this bike it was just kind of on a strict budget and whatever we could find at the time um this bike originally from the factory would have had a clamp style sissy bar like this um but this is a a laid back high loop sissy bar um, and this would have actually been an accessory style sissy bar that would have been offered back in the 60s. Um, it just has kind of like a cheapy um, aftermarket white vinyl seat on here, um, which is what we could find at the time. But it looks really nice on here with the blue. Um, this bike probably originally from the factory would have had a blue metallic seat on it. Um, we got the blue metallic um, these are like a replica of a Hunt Wild grip, um, but they're this, this is the same color that the original grips would have been. Um, these are the correct style handlebars that would have come on this bike from the factory, the narrow um, style bar. They started running this style handlebar on Schwinn Stingrays and crates in 1970. Um, the stem on here is not correct. This is kind of like a, I'd say like, 80s vintage BMX stem uh, but at the time again when we built this bike um, whatever we could find in the junkyards or stuff like that is what we had to run and um, it fit and it worked like if I were to build this bike now I would run a correct Schwinn stem but at the time this is what we had so it's going to stay on the bike again um, just because I want to keep it as is. Also, we don't have a chain guard on here. When I was a kid, I was all about like just having the bare minimum. Um, we didn't have a chain guard with this bike, but I, I would have not run it anyway because I like the look of the open chain and it's just kind of like more stripped down and light. And well, back in the day, a lot of kids would, you know, whatever they could strip off the bikes to get them lighter, fenders, chain guards, anything like that. Um, that would go. Um, I added these little red dice caps on here just for some style and it kind of gave the bike that red, white, and blue look. Um, it's got, this is the original correct um, Schwinn seat clamp. Um, this seat post, as you can see, it's got some like really bad where somebody took a vice grips or something to get it out of a, a bike at one time in the junkyard but when we built this bike we needed a seat post and that's again all that we had available to us um here's a look at this side of the bike it's uh, a single speed um kickback brake again i've talked about in a lot of these muscle bike videos um that's my favorite setup and this bike is such a nice comfortable bike and it's really with those extended cranks and that big front sprocket 
really a nice rider. Pedals super easy. It was very fast as a kid, a lot faster than like a stock Stingray would have been. Um, super nice rider. Um, if you notice on the top tube, there's a lot of scuffing. Um, and that's just because to get on and off of these bikes, your foot usually hits the top tube if you're not careful. So that's very typical on a boy's bike to have the top tube kind of scuffed up. It's just the way it is. Um, so that is the 76 Schwinn Stingray, the overview of the bike. We're going to take the thing for a ride. If you guys have any questions about anything on here or about old bikes, banana seat bikes and stuff in general comment below and i'll try to answer as best as i can um i think i pretty much covered everything um this bike also has a chrome chain on it which i like to run on i liked to run these on all my bikes back in the day it just really kind of looked nice now i've kind of when i'm doing the schwins i kind of try to make them more like how they would have come from the factory so i usually put like a factory style chain on but back in the day when i was building these kind of was going more for the customized look so i'd always run a chrome chain um but it just it looks really cool and it gives a little bit more pop to the bike um i think pretty much covered everything otherwise um it's got the correct um schwinn head badge this is the original badge um by this point in time um i think like starting I'm going to say around 1970, they started putting the Chicago on the bottom. It might have been a couple years earlier. But I know that the early, like, 63 to 65 did not have Chicago on the bottom. And the trademark R was silver. And then they started adding the Chicago on the bottom and a black R later on. Um, so that is the overview of the bike. We're going to take it for a ride now. All right, guys, so we're going to take this thing for a ride. This will be the first time I've rolled this bike in like two years now. But as a kid, I loved riding this bike. I'd ride it just a ton. or to school all the time. would take it on bike rides all over town, race kids, you name it. Um, the only thing I've done on it since the last time I rode it is I put some more air in the tires. And I raised the sissy bar up a little bit. Um, it was sitting like about this much lower so the back of the seat was like like here so i just raised it up a little bit um otherwise i i didn't really do anything to it since the last time um, we did a ride review but we're going to take it for a little bit of a ride here so this is sitting on the bike super nice comfortable i've talked about it quite a few times um this style handlebar these narrow style bars was uh, because of a government regulation, they wanted to make this area of the handlebar narrower so kids couldn't sit in here. Like you couldn't ride your friend on, on your handlebars or whatever. So they started that in 1970. I prefer aesthetically the wider bars, but for riding, I like this style bar better. It just gives you a nice tighter feel and kind of do wheelies better and stuff and I like this style for riding, um, but sitting on the bike, very comfortable with um, this low style sissy bar. I can almost just kind of walk over the top of the bike. I am 6'1", so I fit on this bike comfortably. So if you're an adult and you're thinking about getting one of these bikes, but you're like, I don't know if I'm going to still fit on one of them or what, you will, fine. And if you're a little kid, it'll be even better. Um, but uh, on a boy's bike, like if you got a high sissy bar and maybe a stick shift, it can be kind of hard to get on and off. So this bike's super easy to get on and off though. So uh, it's sitting on the bike like this, it's pretty comfortable. So uh, we'll take it for a little bit of a ride now. So this bike rides really, really smooth it always was a nice smooth rider doesn't make any clunking or the seat squeaks a little bit because the vinyl on the seat squeaks a little bit but um like otherwise there's no rattling or clunking rides really nice and smooth handles really good um 
with the front being up a little bit i remember riding this bike if you really start getting some speed up the front end of the bike will kind of feel like it wants like if you hit a bump it'll feel like it wants to pop up kind of easy um, but it's not too bad and this thing likes likes to do wheelies pretty easy because the front of the bike's already kind of up it doesn't take a whole lot to pull it up a little bit more and i remember as a kid letting people ride this bike which i really did not want to do but i would and i tell them don't try to do any wheelies or anything and they usually wouldn't they'd wipe out and i get mad but <laughs> It is what it is so brakes work really good coaster brakes those are my favorite um i prefer the coaster brake over like a caliper brake they always just seem to work better funner to ride so that was another look at the 76 schwinn stingray if you like this muscle bike riding review or you want to see more old uh, banana seat bike muscle bike videos hit that subscribe button that's going to do it for this one guys Otherwise, until next time, get out work on your own projects, get your hands dirty and greasy, stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.